Like I said, the first perfume was actually rose water. Um, was was something called rose water. It wasn't actually. Um, like I said, uh, there was a lot of things like, um, well, like Roosevelt or or, or or whatever was a real person that try, was trying to take over basically the Panama Canal and trying to own Colombia. And he, he, did, he didn't succeed in doing it. Like, uh, like I say, the, it was the, uh, the Irish people that, that, that told me he was actually starting, <clears throat> he was trying to do a, re a revolt at the Panama Canal, basically, uh, trying to get the people to, to, to revolt for the Confederacy or something like that. Uh, I guess uh, Roosevelt was a Confederate or something like that. Anyway, he was trying to get to trying to start a revolt, um, and like I said, I was actually paying. I was, I was upgrading and, and and even even doing rose, uh, raises, um, the, you know, basically more uh, giving them a higher pay grade, you know, at the at the Panama Canal because we were doing so well, and everybody was going to be getting more money, <clears throat> even some silver and stuff like that. And apparently, Roosevelt was stealing the money or something like that. Or trying to keep the money for the Confederacy or whatever like that. Like I said, they found him with like 300 or so. And, and I actually told him that that, that, that that was the commission for, for, for basically completion of the, for, for the head guy that, that was working at, at, uh, at the Panama Canal. And apparently, and, and apparently Roosevelt or someone had actually killed the, my, my person that was working at Panama, basically. Um, anyway, the, the Irish people found out about it, basically. Because Roosevelt, like I say, had had killed the uh, the Indians that were working there, um, or the Native Americans, and basically also the um, and and also that he had killed like two whole camps basically, and they were working their way down uh, the Panama Canal because there were like five or six different camps working at them at at like at like eight or so different mines mining camps basically, and basically small cities uh, set up you know just in the middle of nowhere pretty much. Uh, just past the, the the mountain ranges on the uh, on the Colombian side, basically there was an Indian camp, a black a black community, and also some other communities, basically, and pretty much they had taken Gatlings in in there and basically killed off a bunch of people. And um, like I said, they got to the Irish camp, but the difference is that it, it is that the Irish people were from Ireland, Ireland, which, as you know, my Birmingham gun smithery. So a lot of Irish people had weapons. You know, they didn't use their weapons all that much, so basically they they they, they had about 120 or, or 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 so guns among them basically. So basically, when when Roosevelt or whoever took the Gatling over to them, you know, uh, they had a couple good shots, and they um and they and they were able to to to, to take out Roosevelt's team basically. Anyway, so apparently Roosevelt was trying to was trying to raise an army or something like that. I don't really know about the details, honestly. Anyway, um, Rose what but but Rose Water. Was basically a perfume com. What was basically a perfume company that that, that that I had started in Paris. Actually, it really started in Germany, but then they were selling it in Paris because a lot of people liked like to smell pretty. <clears throat> and some people used ro ro rose water. You know, they were using kind of like deodorant or whatever else, or, or something. You know, to make themselves look, smell better, uh, rather than washing them. You know, like I said, water and and cleanliness was was something that wasn't too common in the past, but you know, beginning to be more and more common as we got more and more water systems built, and stuff like that, and also like um, like steam and stuff like that. You know, hot water. <laughs> Taking nobody wants to take a cold shower. Every everybody, but but a lot of people will take a warm or hot shower. You know, and and basically that's another thing that my steam engines and steam stuff even, e, 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 <clears throat> um, like 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 that's what happened to most of my steam trains. They just took the wheels off and basically cut all the bits off and just kept the 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 uh, the steam part basically and started using them as hot water heaters basically. You know, you can actually make a make a fair amount of hot water using them. <clears throat> and they work great for for, for 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 heating schools and also and for also hot water so a lot of my trains you know like like i said they built like 10,000 or 32,000 trains but they didn't recycle that many trains i mean the the the, the but, but but that many trains aren't aren't in use anymore and the question that that, that most people would ask is where did they all go well actually they became hot water heaters most of them for like towns and buildings you know they were resold or used. I mean, people love my trains. They, they, they be, be, because it was basically a great big iron, iron thing. And like I said, during the war, there was one guy that 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 that, that was working inside of a shop, and and he was right next to the 
right next to the train engine, you know, and when when uh, when he heard the bombs falling, and he jumped inside and closed the hatch basically on him, and basically he was he was thrown some thirty feet inside of inside of the steel thing. But they lit, but he lived. Anyway, crazy, <laughs> very lucky guy, uh, and 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 the other the other people he was working with died. I, I they they say it was actually like two guys or something like that. Anyway, saved by a Lucifer Star steam, s steam, um, steam vessel, basically. Um, anyway, the, the, there were lots of shops that, that, that they used to take them apart and turn them into basically hot water heaters for whole towns. They could heat, <laughs> they could heat a, fa a fair amount of people, and stuff like that. And they could also heat um, heat hot water for a whole building, basically, or more, two or three buildings actually. So they used to use them a lot back in the old days, and that's where most of my steam trains actually ended up being. Uh, they also ended, they, they they were also used for, for 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 running dynos and stuff like that and other steam stuff. So they, <laughs> they were they, they were really valuable just because just because of what they were. Not to mention the fact that they were Lucifer Star steam and steam trains. So anyway, yeah. So that's what happened to most of my things. They they took the cabs off and recycled the cabs and recycled the frames and everything else and recycled the wheels. But the but the steam vessels lived on for for years. Until eventually they rusted out, or a newer, a newer, better stuff was would replace them. But a lot of the old, old steam kettles or, or things. I mean, a lot of people would would walk into basements, and we walking into basements for years, going, "It looks like a steam train." And sometimes, sometimes the number on the front of it, on the on the door part, the, where you where you clean them out and stuff like that. You know, it would say like number thirty two, and sometimes it would even have a star or something like that. And it's like, it's like, well, yeah, they built the building around it. You know, and and uh, and 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 some people would be finding my steam, my old no old steam train number three twos down there, you know, and stuff like that. So, anyway, yeah, I mean, uh, there's lots of history just wandering, just just poking around that no, that most people wouldn't know. You walk into a basement and you see a giant, basically a steam vessel, and you don't really even realize that that used to be a steam train for you for hundreds of years or whatever. You know, that practically built the whole town, and then. Ended up being basically a hot pressure, high pressure steam thing. So, anyway, yeah, there's lots of history around, kicking around like that. So, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. People call me crazy, and no, I'm not a racist. Uh, like I said, I'm actually the one responsible for for for, for, for bringing for, for 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 bringing the blacks and the whites together during my um, during my epic road building uh, things. Actually, I like black people. I mean, I created them genetically. So. I mean, well, it's just a, ch a skin color change. That's all it really was. But um, but including them, and like I said, I, I made it. Well, I, I did do segregation originally. I d I, 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 I did I did enact or or, or have laws enacted uh, to, to to segregate the blacks and the whites. But that was mostly because I didn't say blacks ride in the back of the bus or anything like that. Just I wanted them separated because there were be becoming problems. The blacks and the whites were not getting along together. So I basically created black schools and white schools, you know, so they could actually just be among their own people so they wouldn't be picked on or anything else like that. But then later on, like I say, I decided to strike that and bring and start bringing the world. You know, I was like, you're going to have to get along. So we can't do this whole separation of, 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 of groups. You know, I didn't have that much money. So basically, and, you know, it was... You know, you know. I mean, I mean, you're, you're all on this world, and basically, you're going to have to get along at some point in time. So, anyway, and like I said, bringing the groups back together, you know, that was um, massively my my thing as well. And whatever. Like I say, I don't care anymore. But. A lot of children will wonder, like, who set up the who set the school curriculum in America? You know, who who wanted all these things to be done? Who paid for the metal shops to to to, to be put in the schools? Why do schools even have metal shops and work, woodworking shops? Or why did they? You know, and and all this and other stuff. You know, who is Lucifer Star? Who actually owned the Star Mines? Who owned any of these places? Who built these places? When was the first nuclear bomb set off? Well, 1812. It was about when, when the first nuclear bomb, or some year like that. Maybe even 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 sooner than that. 
Anyway, and it was a test, and it didn't exactly go all that great. Uh, it didn't uh, on on one or on one of them. We didn't get a clean a clean burn on on the uranium or th or the thorium, and basically it created a nightmare. And we had to clean it all up, which we did. So anyway, whatever. That was all smelted down and basically fixed. So anyway.